What y'all feel about today's fit? I took the lashes off because I'm tired. You see the lace? It's invisible right there though. Let me find my makeup shade. I feel a little fancy. And then bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cause as you can see my lace look. <laughs> I left too many, I, I left not too many, I left too much lace on the wig. So, um, Y'all hoes could call me Lacey, I'm just playing bitch. Y'all hoes better call me Nika. Y'all hoes better call me Nika. Forces! The forces, Lord. Yeah, it look like way better. Let me see. Big step, cause you don't know. When I tell you way better, I mean way better. When I tell you way better, I mean it from the bottom of my heart. But hey, <laughs> not too much on me though. It don't matter, you could do too much on me because they even with all that lace on my phone, on my fucking forehead, it was, I still was looking better than a lot of y'all raggedy ass pussy eye holes. <laughs> I wonder who dry that nice ass cat like truck. I keep forgetting I ain't got no view for me and this side I just keep Oh um I have to go to work. Big step on yama. I found a new song. No, I'm not gonna work out. I'm not gonna lie to ya. <laughs> And the new brown. Put it on my. That song keep playing in my head. I keep hearing it over and over. Big pussy, put it on my face. It took me a while to realize where I heard the song from, and I'm like, ah. Oh, what kind of rich girl treatment is this? As y'all can see, my lace is looking way better. Fuck all y'all who didn't believe in the real nigga. But yo, the most embarrassing part is that I went to go see that boy with my lace looking like that. But it's <laughs> big pussy. Put it on my. I don't really have nothing to talk about, but we gonna keep talking about my lace, my hair, and then of course I fixed the lace. I had to put the lashes on. I had to put the lashes on. I need new lashes. On. So boom, boom, boom. Two out of three. I got two out of three. The third one is gonna be the big, big, big one. You feel me? This one, you know, this good little chump change. You know, you know. And um, I remember I had watched this interview with Rick Ross. He was on the Breakfast Club. I'm still trying to find someone. He was on the Breakfast Club, and um, Rick Ross was like, when he was in the hood, when he was in the hood, he used to um see helicopters fly by and he used to wish on a helicopter or some shit like some shit like that ever since then i just been wishing on like every time i hear a helicopter or a plane or something i'm like hey man y'all said y'all was coming to get me what like what's going on like y'all said y'all was coming to get me like come get me like i'm tired of wishing i'm done wishing come and get me this shit ghetto oh i remember what i wanted to tell y'all should I go sit in a car and tell this story? I'm just done here. So I'm princess like. Um okay, boom. So I was talking to this man that the day. It's not it's not no. It was just some regular ass man, so just somebody, you know, that's in my you know that's in my life supposed to protect me, but he's not. You get what I'm saying? And um, he was talking to me, and he was just spewing bullshit out his mouth, just spewing bullshit. And the more bullshit he said, the more I was like, "Hey, somebody need to call my phone." I like, damn, my nose is weird. I like ancestors. I just like, 
I was like, somebody need to call my phone. I was like, but who? Don't nobody call my phone. Like, I don't talk to nobody. Like, you guys, man. Because I was like, I don't talk to nobody. So I'm just standing there. I'm just not standing. I was sitting. I'm just looking at the phone. And every time he say something, I'm just like, I'm just not saying nothing. Because it's like, it's, it's futile. It's, it's pointless. Like, with these people, like, I remember it was this boy. His name was Ricky. I was working with him. And, like, I telepathically, whatever that word is, I told him. Because he kept on attacking me, kept on attacking me. And I told him, listen, I'm not going to whoop your ass. Come over to God's side. Come over to my side. You feel me? We fuck with God on this side. Come over to my side. And um, he'll forgive you. And I'll forgive you. And we're just like, you know, let it be. I said that in my mind. Like, I said that in my mind. <laughs> this nigga said out loud, he told me no. I will never do that. He literally looked at me and he told me, no, I will never do that. And in my head, I just, and cause I was looking at him, like when, you no, know, I was like this. And then when he, when he looked at me, I looked at him, he said, no, I will never do that. And I was like, and then like, I went, but while I'm doing that, I said, all right, now I have to whoop your ass. And I whooped his ass. I whooped his ass. Like, I don't know what he thought it was. I don't know what he thought it was going to be. I whooped his ass and I blocked him. We were fighting for like a whole day. I beat his ass and I blocked him. He would piss the fuck off. He wanted to be all in my mind, all in my thoughts and shit. Bitch, why? You weird. Weird as fuck. He was weird as fuck. And guess what his sign was? A Gemini. So it's like, I come over here and now I'm fucking with a Gemini again. And it's like, but this time I let her do it over and over and over and over because you're supposed to be my mama. So I just let this shit. But it's like, now it's like, I don't. I don't give a fuck about none of this shit. So I started pushing her ass away. And once I, once I started pushing her away, it was like she was like, oh, okay, my bad. So I said that to say this. Okay, my bad. So back to the story. So I was sitting there and I was just like, somebody need to call my phone. I was like, please, y'all, save me. Because the shit he was saying out his mouth, it was like, nigga, what the fuck is you saying? You're not even saying nothing. Like, you're not even saying nothing feasible. Like, what the fuck? Like, so I was like, y'all, please save me. And then, um, my phone started ringing. It was one of my friends. I don't really talk to her like that no more because, you know, the, 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 you know, the going out thing. I don't really talk to her like that no more. But she called me. I never been happier in my life. I was like, oh, my God. Like, I haven't talked to her in, like, like two, three days because she had called me the other day to tell me something. And I ain't talked to her in, like, two, three days. She called me at the, I was like, oh, thank you, Jesus. That, like. I ain't gonna lie, it's gonna be many times where I, I say that's when I knew it was real. I'm gonna say that over and over, over and over, because they keep showing me like this shit be really real. So, yeah. So then that night, so I said, I said, ooh, I said, I'm gonna talk to you later. I gotta, I gotta take this phone call. I ran outside and I went to the phone call. And I just stood outside on the phone. And then he walked by. He was like, oh, I'm gonna talk to you later, okay, Bill? And I'm like, okay. Nigga, you know I won. Like, y'all know I won already. Leave me the fuck alone. But these people don't want to leave me alone. That's the problem. It's like, they is, I don't know what they thought was going to happen. What they thought they was going to amount. What they thought they was going to get. They they not going to get it. Especially not off my dick. Because I need mine. And, um, and then that's when I started um thinking. Because I remember, because I saved, I saved this lady so many times over and over. And I told her, I was like, listen, you free now. You can do what you want. But at the end of the day, it's not following nobody no more. Now it's going to fall on your back. And she's still doing the same thing. I'm not all right. No pressure. And so, like, yesterday after the phone call and stuff like that, and I started thinking. And I was like, you know who she remind me of? She remind me of Ricky. I was like, because I told him the same exact thing. Come over here and you're going to get your blessings. No, you want to be top dog. I don't even want to be top dog. I think that's why I am top dog because I don't even try to be. I'm not even one. Like I don't want to be. Like we work as a team over here. Ain't no oh I I I. Nigga was one of I I. Ain't no I am fucking team ho. Like so yeah. So ain't no we in team neither though. But you get me. <laughs> and so um there is an M. There is an M. I don't know where I'm going with that. But there is an M. Um. So yeah, so I spent so once I figured it out, cause it's like I'm not gonna beat you, like pop, 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 beat you, but I can literally beat you. Like all I gotta do is push you away and block you. And then when I blocked it, and it was like, and if you keep trying to pull on my energy, bitch, your spirit getting blocked. And then she kept on trying, and I'm like, no problem, <laughs> you block. And then she was at the refrigerator. She was like, 
and I was just standing in the kitchen because I'm making fried chicken and rice. So I was just like, and then like usually she stay up to like usually she stay up to like 10, 11 to get on my nerves and stuff. She went to sleep at 9 30. She went to sleep at 9 30. I beat her ass. I ain't beat her, like literally put my hands on her. Like there was no sword fighting and shit. Like this one was that I went through I went through physical not physical. I went to like I went through a fighting and then I went through mental. And now this one is spiritual. It's like I went through three different type of spiritual warfare. But this one was the hardest. For, it, it wasn't the hardest. It was just, it was hard for me because I'm a very emotional person. Like, I'm very loving. So it's really hard for me to push away the people I love. But I had to figure it out. I have to push you away and your husband away. Even though, and he was like, oh, um, we raised you since you were little. Fuck y'all. Y'all been sucking me dry since I was there. That's what y'all been doing. And I realized what happened was like when you have, because I had a baby at a young age, that's like a traumatic experience, sort of kind of, you know what I'm saying? So it's like your brain split. And that's how they do it with the um, MK Ultra thing. They split you so that they could go inside and control you. So basically, once my brain had split, it was like, okay, boom, now I'm able. Like it was just like a whole bunch of shit. It's just a whole bunch of shit. You feel me? And, I, and then I figured it all out like last night. Not all. I don't figure everything out, but I figured out that. And um, <laughs> let's look back at my lace, bitch. This shit looks so fucking pretty. I just need like, you know, but it don't even look bad. Like, you know, makeup. I still need the makeup, of course. Damn, like, I just be so scared. Like, being, I'm going to be an example for y'all, bro. Don't be scared to cut the lace off. Cut that lace. Fuck that lace. Cut the lace. You don't need it. Like, I be scared to cut the lace off. I don't know why I be scared to cut the lace. Cut the lace. Cut the lace. Uh, all right. I have to go to Publix to buy more limes. And then, then what am I going to eat? I don't know. I'll figure out when I get there.